I say jump right in. Um, it's always changing. I think it will be definitely something that will give you a nice cross functional cross stakeholder view of the entire organization. You're on the other side of the desk, so to speak, with the, the client and with the supplier. You learn a supplier's business, you learn your cust internal customer's business. It's a growing industry, it's a growing career. Um, you know, within the next few years, I could see a lot of younger people being really successful in the supply chain industry. Um, straight out of college, it's a great opportunity, you know, given the economy, it's a great opportunity to get a job. Everything that we do touches everybody's life. Whatever we buy is going to affect somebody's lives. It, it may affect it in terms of the pro quality of the product. It may affect it in the way we do our work or the office environment. It might make us more efficient or less efficient. We, we are there to touch people's lives. There are always new challenges and it's also just been really rewarding from the time that I started in this field to see how far the field has come, how much respect this profession has gained, and how much more impact we're able to have as a result of it. It's seen as a key contributor to the business and many, many procurement organizations are reporting directly to the CFO, right, or to the chief operating officer. And I think that's because many organizations recognize the value that procurement can bring beyond the peace, peace price. I would tell a sophomore or freshman who's interested in pursuing a career in supply chain management or indirect procurement that it's a really great way to build um, skills that are valuable to any business and really become a, like, you have a valuable skill set that any company can use and you really become an integral part of the team and you have um, the true ability to make an impact on a business in the bottom line. If you really want to have uh, a life that's fulfilling. Um, you know, if you're in sales, you're going to be measured on a quota, you're going to have to deliver things on a regular basis. You're, you're basically going to be, uh, you're not going to be the customer. You're going to get jerked around by your customers. But when you go into procurement or supply management, every day you wake up, you're the customer. And life is good when you're the customer. I think supply management is a wonderful career, and I think so because it allows you a variety of experiences. Whether you're analytical, whether you're a people person, whether you like to go out and sell and market, all of the things can be found in supply chain as well as into logistics. Today, there are a strong number of supply chain leaders that report to the CEO, and then there are a good number that are in line to be CEO, and so it's a clear path to the C-suite. There is no other single position in a large organization where you interface with a broader range of, uh, of the really the total company. Your influence and impact, everything from working with engineers and the technology people on new products, new design, bringing in new partners with that new technology, running the current production, influencing the business, bringing better costs to the bottom line, and then servicing your customer through your full distribution network and servicing them in the aftermarket. This is an area that no two days are ever alike.